Hey folks, I'm Hermar Sokyo, and today I am here to teach you guys about ADMs and solve basics. So, let's get straight into it, shall we? Activity defense multipliers are affected by three factors and are one of the three crucial pillars to keeping our space secure. The higher the ADM number, the longer it takes for an enemy to capture a system, and the less time each day a hostile has to reinforce our iHubs. The first way to increase these multipliers are through holding the sovereignty, which maxes out at holding it for 100 days and adds an extra 1 times to the multiplier, making it a total of 2 times multiplier. This is known as the strategic index. The second way is through ratting, with the more rats killed in a system, as in holes and like, rat holes and not bounties, Every rat hole has the same value in terms of ADMs, so so it's better if you're ADMing to go into sites with a lot of smaller ships, well, just a lot of ships per wave. With the more rats killed in a system, the more the ADM goes up, and it caps out at 199% of level 5. This will add 2.5%, not percent, uh, times to the ADM when maxed, which on top of the strategic index will make a total ADM of 4.5 times. This is known as the military index, and unlike the strategic index, it will decrease over time if ratting is not done enough. If it begins to fall, it will lose 1% per hour, and unless corrected, will go all the way down to zero. The third and final way to increase ADMs is through mining. The more you mine in a system, the more the ADM goes up. Similar to the military index, this index will cap out 199% at level 5, and if left unattended will drop 1% per hour, going all the way down to zero. This index is known as the industry index, and is usually used to get a system up to 6.0 ADMs, as it is the hardest to increase on your own. Uh, given a max military and strategic index, to get ADM 6.0 you only need to get level 3 of the industry index, but it is recommended, if possible, to get it above level 3 by a significant amount to provide a buffer zone before it falls below ADM 6 again. Now, you may be confused as to why I was mentioning ADM 6.0 in particular. This is because CCP made it so ADM 6.0 was the hard cap for the multiplier. The activity defense multiplier, as stated in the beginning, is directly responsible for the time it takes for hostiles to entosis a system, with the average system index across our space being 4.5 times. That would mean it would take the enemies 45 minutes to entosis one of our infrastructure hubs. But with ADM 6 times, it would mean that hostiles have to entosis for a whole hour or 60 minutes to reinforce it. It is also responsible for the iHub vulnerability window, which is the length of time where the iHub can be entosis. The maximum this value can be is an 18 hour vulnerability window, 9 hours on each side of the set time by the Alliance, well, the Alliance which holds the SOV, and the minimum being a 3 hour vulnerability window with 1.5 hours on each side of the set time. Once Hostile successfully entosis as a system, it goes into reinforcement for 2 days, and at the end of that reinforcement timer, substructures called command nodes will spawn across the system's constellation, and the battle over the fate of the iHub commences. Only the Alliance who holds sovereignty over the iHub can do defensive entosis, which means, say, we're defending a Banderlog's iHub, we can't entosis the nodes, as will count as hostiles to the game. The higher the ADM, the less nodes friendlies need to catch to secure the iHub, and the more nodes enemies need to capture to destroy it.